And for A-level, I did maths, politics and history. So I did quite a diverse spread, so it didn't really lead me down any particular route. Um, so when I looked at the university, I looked at all different courses. For me, choosing economics was mainly because it was quite facilitating as a degree. Um, it gave me quite a lot of options, and specifically at Warwick, I had the opportunity in my third year to really tailor my degree to what I want to study. Before I chose to study biomedical science, um, I actually did quite a lot of research, um, including the modules University of Warwick did. I went for the University of Warwick um, lecture taste today. Um, it went really well. Um, it kind of finalised my decision that I want to study medicine. Also, some of the modules on biomedical science actually links to medicine. So it is a great um, undergraduate course if you're thinking of studying uh, medicine as a postgraduate. I chose English Literature and Creative Writing. It's a course that I decided on because it didn't lock me down into one specific career path. I felt like it left my options quite open. I specifically chose to study psychology at Warwick because, I, well, I like the prestigious name of the university and I thought that they give you a lot of option to choose your own modules, specifically in second year and that really suited me. I chose PP because it unites quite a few of, the, of my favourite subjects, so it unites politics, philosophy and economics. It gives a very rounded um, view of the world. It can lead in any um, direction as well, in any kind of uh, professional direction. So it gives me a lot of freedom. I realised that learning about educational policy and development of children and how they learn is something that is really interesting to me and I realised that I could do a degree in this and I could further my knowledge of education and research and at that point I realised that I could do that at Warwick.